Hello YouTubers. it is Gizzy Greenfingers here and in front of you is my mango bonsai tree start anyway and um, I've looked on YouTube for how to bonsai these and I can't find anyone who speaks bloody English so I've I took some pictures of what I've seen of I think they're from Bangladesh. I don't. I don't honestly know, but they weren't from this country, the UK. So I had a look. I took some pictures, and on the pictures we've got this free falcon out like that. You see. Let me, let me zoom in a little bit more. We get a little bit closer to the situation. So in this picture, you can see exactly the same thing at the bottom. The three, the three branches all coming out the same, the same part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bonds. I'm going to start wiring those now, and that's it when it's a bit more girthier. So the thing is, I want to get these wire, these branches wired, ASAP. I've not had this long. Uh, it's been under my setup, my tropical tree setup. When I bought this, I got it from eBay. Because I just couldn't be bothered waiting three months for it to come from seed, so it saves you a bit of time. When I bought it, it was from this side and from that side. And since I've had it, tenth of October this was. We're now in November the twenty-first. I bought this not long ago. I got some some geezer or. Nice lady from eBay, and I love it. I love it. This is a great specimen to work with to bonsai. Um, oh my god! Oh, yeah, I still. Oh my god! I, I, it looks like another node coming up from that direction. That's great. That is a great specimen to work with. Look. I don't know if it's like two years old and he's cut it and then you've got three that have just sprouted out, but that is great for bonsai. I mean, like, I was um, very um, excited when I saw that. We've grown all these new nodes up here and then even more, let me zoom out a bit, even more up there. So the setup I've got, I've got LED lights and we've got soil temperature in the day of between 26, 27. So <clears throat> it's like in the setup and yeah, I don't have it on. I don't have the heat mat on when I'm not at home but just because I just worry about fire risks. So it's got to, it's just got to make do with what heat is in the bedroom, which is 17 degrees. So we're at 17 degrees at the moment, but it's been, we've, we've been up minus, so 17 degrees isn't too bad for not having the eating on yet in the house. But um, what I'm going to do today, from those pictures that I saw, I think I'm going to start wiring a little bit. While it's young, while it's still pliable, I'm thinking he needs to be wired over like that a little. And then this long one needs to be wide over like that. And maybe we can get some sort of twist going on with this one where it's long. I don't know. But I want to separate those more. I don't like them all clustered up so closely. So if I could probably get a 2mm on that. Maybe a 1.5mm. Because it won't take much. Won't take much, and it's growing so quickly. I am a little worried wiring it so early because the the rate that it is growing, um, it could be like you could get wire marks in that in that lovely trunk so early on, which I don't particularly want. So. I'll have to just keep my eye on it for the next few weeks. Let's see what sort of wire we got. I'm 
working in. I'm working in the mustard. No, that's not good enough. Two mil. Two mil, yeah. Are you working with a two mil? Just get the wire cutters. Been hard day to day. I've been splitting wood all day. Oh, it was oak. Bloody hardwood, oh. oh. It's quite a hard. Oh, I'll take it off this. When, when will I learn to take it off that turntable? Never gizzy. Right. Don't want that. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that. <clears throat> Maybe I'm going for to a thicker gauge. We we will try a one and a half mil. It might make me feel a little bit more at ease trying to wire these young shoots up. Well, it wraps around a little easier, doesn't it? Hey, that one. Oh, it does, Gizzy. Well done. Well done for being so observant. Right. But I don't like how small it is because it doesn't give you much of a time frame to notice it's biting in to the bark when it's such a small wire. And that is the major setback, really. What am I doing with this? Should I just wire that fucking thing? Yeah, we're just going to wire that one down like that. You're long and. But yeah, it's quite a flexible. Tree. To work with. I'm sorry, I'm not talking so much. I'm trying to concentrate. And if anyone knows me, that's quite a difficult thing to do. There you go. We've got a little bit of movement. That's all you need. You just need that little. Let's do that like that. There's so many leaves. It's doing really well though. It's loving it's loving a soil temp of twenty six. And then LED lights I bought for it. Well the setup I've made. It's, it's working. It's doing well. I think I'm about there. I don't really want to wire on that one because that see the discoloration on that that is um a very new shoot and I don't really want to wire on that. At least this the greener bits zoom in a bit. Can't see that full can you? So you see that newer shoot that one that that is really delicate and at least these greener ones are more pliable to to manipulate the branch, you see. Right, what's that phase done? So now, I sort of more bend that in a way. Like that. So you've got all these, you'll have all nodes coming out of this section here. Let's look great with that. And then maybe that I don't want to wire that yet, do I? Oh should I wire it? Should I just call that is tender? Call that is tender. I don't like that. But I'm a professional winger. Winging it. I'm professional winging it. So that's like that. And then that can probably get bent like that. I don't like that, you see. And then you got like a bend going over. That's, that's good. That's that bit. It's good old change. 
and it's still very pliable to do it with. And that one needs to go just a tad like that. I don't want it going in the same angle as that, that low. I just want that a little bit higher than that other one I've done. Comprende? Does thee understand? Yeah. Does thee understand? But yeah, if you're from England and you're growing a mango seedling and trying to bonsai it, I'd love to hear from you. I, and I hope you've got a channel. And I hope you let me um, well, tell me what it is. A bit more light on the situation. Tell me what it is. And um, I'd love to to learn how to, if I'm doing it right. But like I said, them pictures, they're from what country, them, them guys. They're proper Bangladeshi, I guess, or wherever mangoes grow. Somewhere up, not like England. And by God, that's big bloody cold today. Yeah. We're only in November. So I've got colds coming on. Right, I'm going to do that then. Oh, you're going to do that. Stupid. Um, um, I'm going to go like that. And uh, there. I'll zoom you in a little bit more so you can see how complicated it effing is. Uh, it's pretty effing complicated. But do I let it do I let it get me down? No. Uh -oh. And you gotta have a little bit of a bit of um what's, what's the word I'm looking for? A bit of confidence now, because that is To be fair, it is quite pliable, but you just got to keep your F and I on how long you actually have this wire on. I ain't doing it any further than that because that's. It's a purpley bit, and that's like really new. Let me cut that off there. Pow! I've got to do that, didn't I? I've got to do my little powie. Pow! Where do it on the next one? Oh, I did it. Oh, oh we went then. We just have to miss out on the pow. So, so I think that's that. And we want him going off just a little bit. Probably want that going up a little bit more and I'm going up a little bit that way. Zoom out. Put you up to my level. So that is what we got, you YouTubers. Yep. Didn't take much. Didn't take much. But you got you've got your basic bonsai shape tr starting now this is starting to turn into a tree yeah well with the rate it's growing i'll tell you what i'm just going to let it grow out a bit more because i'm happy with how it is until i have to cut it because it will reach the top of the lights where my setup is um and then i'll just cut these back and hopefully you'll get secondary Secondary um, ramification, like branches coming out from further back, like back burning. But um, only time will tell, you bejeebers. But that is how you bonsai a mango. Not the start of it, anyway. But if you want to see how this progresses through the months of winter in England under my new tropical tree setup then I suggest you subscribe to Gizzy Greenfingers. Ah, uh, you'll have a great time with Gizzy Greenfingers. And I've got more than a few 
Cheers. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, YouTubers, and I will see you next time. Ta-da for now. Gizzy green fingers.